What's up? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pitzel R2 tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be building a low battery Corgi. Now, for this silly Pitzel art, we're gonna be using some black, some orange, some sand, and some white wool, and that's pretty much it. But before we get started on this construction, please make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't, go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And now, let's plug in our phones and let's get started. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna begin by placing 26 blocks of our black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then finally 26. So make sure that you guys have 26 black wools for the foundation of your low battery Corgi. Corgi? Corgi? Oh god, how do you call these dogs? Anyways, every so often after we built something, I'm going to be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to take a break. You know, and pause it if you need to, just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. So now let's continue. We're going to place three black wools going to the left here. So one two and three then we're gonna go up by two and then we're gonna attach three black wools on the left side so one two and three then we're gonna go to the right and we're gonna go up by four one two three four then we're gonna drop down and we're gonna place two black wools going to the right with one diagonal So make sure you guys have this positive you need to. Remember, after you place three black wools going up here, you're gonna move to the right, you're gonna go up by four, and then on the second row, you're gonna place two to the right and then one diagonal. Now let's continue. On this right side, we're gonna attach three black wools going up. One, two, three. Then we're gonna attach five going up. One, two, three, four, five. Now what we're going to do, so we're going to go to the second block right here on this row of five and we're going to place two black wools going to the right. Then we're going to go back up top here. We're going to add three black wools going to the right. And we're going to drop down and we're going to have one diagonal. Then we're going to place three black wools, but they're going to be in this shape. Then we're going to have one diagonal. Then we're going to have three black wools. Then we're going to have one diagonal. Then four black wools going down. One, two, three, four. Then we're also going to have eight black wools going to the right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to have one diagonal going down and to the right. Then we're going to have seven black wools going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now after those sevens on this right side, we're going to add three black wools, but in this shape. Then we're going to go down by four black wools on the right side. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to have two diagonal black wools going to the left. Then we're going to have three black wools going to the left. And then right here in the middle, we're going to place two black wools going down. Now we still have a little bit of outline to do near the tail and do the battery on the top. But for now, this is what the outline should be for a low battery Corgi, or Corgi. I think it said Corgi, I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're gonna go down here and we're gonna place two black wools going up. So here we have one and two. Then we're gonna have a diagonal black wool on the bottom. Then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna place three black wools on the right side going up with two in the middle going to the right. And then right here, we're gonna add three diagonal black wool blocks going up and to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, and finally three. Now we still need to do like a little bit of detail right here and his nose and mouth. So let's get to that. So what we're actually gonna do is that we're gonna go over here. We're gonna grab our orange wool and we're gonna place three orange wool. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Then a black wool. And we're gonna drop down and we're gonna place two black wools to the right and a diagonal black wool. So make sure that you guys have three orange wools right here. And we're gonna grab our orange again and we're gonna place one orange wool right here below this one on the right. Then we're gonna grab our black and we're gonna place two rows of three black wools and then one in the middle. So right, awesome, let's continue. We're now gonna start adding a little bit of detail which is gonna involve with our sand. So we're gonna grab our sand block and we're actually gonna place nine blocks right here over sand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks of sand. Then we're gonna grab our orange and we're gonna place six orange wools. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna place one orange, I'm sorry, one sand block and then two diagonal black wools just like so. And then right here, we are going to place three black wools going to the left. So make sure you guys have this. Now we're gonna grab our sand blocks again and we're gonna place two sand blocks. So make sure you guys have this. So once again, you're gonna have nine sand blocks, then I believe six orange. Yeah, that's, that's definitely six orange wools. So make sure you guys have that. Now what we're gonna do next is that starting right above this orange, we're just gonna make a row out of sand blocks going to the left. It's pretty easy. And then on this right side, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna add one more on this left side. Now let's go ahead and fill in this entire section. Now I have a question for you guys. What type of dogs, if you have any dogs do you have? Because I have a dog named Lancelot and he's a Labradoodle. But yeah, let me know what type of dogs you have. Now after you guys fill that in, we're gonna add a little bit more detail here on the ear. So we're gonna grab our orange wool and we're gonna place one diagonal orange wool. Then we're gonna grab our sand and we're right above it, we're gonna place two sand blocks, then go to the left and another two sand blocks. Now we have to go ahead and add that orange because you know sand is a gravity block, so it'll fall straight down, so we couldn't be having that. Now we're gonna grab our orange wool again, and right here, we're just gonna make a row. You know, it doesn't have to be special, you don't have to, have to count it. What you do need to do is set right in the middle here, you're gonna place two rows of three sand blocks, and then one more sand block, and that's gonna be the other ear. Now we need to go do the little paw and tail. So for that, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna place two sand blocks and then three sand blocks. And then what we're gonna do here, so we're gonna place right in this, next to this one diagonal here, we're gonna place three sand blocks in this shape. And then we're gonna do two rows going all the way up, just like so. Then over here, we're gonna place two orange wools with two sand blocks on the top. And then we're gonna place three orange wools with one sand block on the top. And we had to place those orange because you know, sand is a gravity block. So that's gonna be our sleeping corgi. Now we need to go ahead and do the battery. Now for the battery, we're just gonna grab, let's let's grab a temporary block. We're gonna grab our white and we're gonna go right here. We're just gonna go up by a couple blocks. You don't have to count it, it just, just depends how high you want the battery. So I'm actually gonna make the battery a little bit lower. If you wanna get it just to be, just like my height, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, okay? So my battery is gonna be six blocks high. Now we're gonna grab our black wool and talking about six, we're gonna go up by six black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then right here, next to the spacing block, we're gonna place 13 black wools going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 
Then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool with four black wools on the right. And then we're gonna have one diagonal. And then next we're gonna have another 13 black wools going to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Awesome. Let's go ahead and break this spacing blocks that we used. Now what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna place, you know, one white wool. And then over here to the right and on the top, we're gonna place two rows of four black wools. And this is gonna be the battery, like, you know, indication. You could even make him red. That would be like low battery, but I'm gonna keep mine black. Then we're gonna place another white and then two rows of four black wools. And then we're gonna have another white and two rows of four black wools. Now what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of our corgi friends with some orange wool and then the battery with some white wool. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Awesome, and that's what our low battery corrugate should look like. If you guys enjoyed making this really cute, simple pixel art, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. And just thank you so, so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you real soon in the next video.